Look at all the messages of preachers in the world. And there's one true voice in the world. There's not two prophets. There's not two voices in the world. It's not my voice or your pastor's voice. It's, the, it's God's voice that's speaking back. We're not wondering if this message is right. Even many times it looks like something, oh, it missed the mark, missed the mark. And you know those critics are, are saying everywhere now, oh, Brother Bram was wrong here, Brother Bram was wrong there. Critics <clears throat> don't, pay, don't even pay one bit of attention to it. Amen. You know what happened? They just didn't listen long enough. <laughs> what seemed to be a question over here was answered over here. You go back and try to find all the answers. Say, oh, in the first poll, yeah, oh, yeah. The seals are not open, the mysteries, oh, no, it's not. Well, you stay there and you'll die right there. That's just like trying to go fix up the Methodists or the Baptists or the Pentecostals or the Mennonites or any of them. Try to fix them back up again. How are you going to, how are you going to do it when the, the life has already left? The life is no longer in Luther's message. It's the same sanctification, the same spirit that went all the way through. But you try to take this message. You know, and I'm, let me, I'll be very kind, gentle, loving. I, I'm, I am. But I'll say this, you can never, you can never change the direction that God's going. Amen. Just stay in the direction he's walking. From glory to glory to glory, he's changing you. There's preachers around this message that are trying to change the course of the ministry. We're not going back, we're going forward. I'm all for everything. I'm, I'm for excitement, for joy and peace and joy. And, but we're not going for any subject alone. We're walking in all of the light of the world. Stay right there. We'll keep right on walking. Somebody tries to isolate a little part and put, pull it apart. Watch it. The message doesn't change. Every time Brother Bram went, went to a certain place and said, now I've walked till here, this place you said, but now I'm waiting. Here it is. Then he comes and said, now I wondered of all those things. He said, now here it is. Sirs, is this the time? And he went by there and he said, now watch, come back to this tape. He said later on, he said, remember I told you this, this and that? How many times have we done that as ministers? There's a little question comes up, a little something. Then we go back and search it out and say, well, but, but he said this over here, but it sounds like it's contradicting. Just keep it walking a little bit. There wasn't all the light back then. Even that comes around, in the, remember how he used to say, uh, thou talk about the seven seals, he said it's the back part of the book. He said it's not even written in the book. That's what he used to say. But about the third seal, he said, I was wrong. It's written there. But our spiritual eyes was withheld from it. As Daniel had been told and John was told that it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be revealed to the time of the end. So he said, God withheld it from us and didn't let us know all the mysteries until this age. But now he pulled it back and let us know. Then he took that mystery and revealed the rest of the mystery. kept on going, kept right on climbing. Tell what, what did we see? Behold the Lamb of God, Christ, the mystery of God revealed.